everyone and welcome back to Total Coins. So in this video we're going to be doing another pre-decimal coin hunt. We've got our tub here of pre-decimal coins that we're going to be going through looking to fill up the empty slots in our album. Or albums, should I say. Um, but before we get to looking at the albums as it's the first video of the month, just wanted to say don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. So what I will do is, obviously we're doing the album reviews in this video, but I will put a little annotation down the bottom here to let you know what time to sort of skip to if you don't want to sort of go through the albums with me. Um, and then we'll start the hunt sort of at that time. So let's start off with our farthings. So we've got our two albums. And if I remember rightly, this one, oh no, it has got some in. So we've got 1902, 1909. And then we've got, so we're only actually missing a couple off that page. So uh, 1911, 13, 16, and 22. And then a couple off the last page as well. So what, 24, 26, 29, 32, 33, 34, and 36. So, um, I'll have a look actually. I think I might have a an odd verse for both of these pages. So I'll have a look sort of after the video and get that added in. Then we've got our 1937 to 1956 album. So we are missing 1938. We've got a full page there, and then just a couple here that we're missing. So the 1953 odd verse, 1954 odd verse, and then just 1956. So only four more to get, and then we've got another full album. And you'll see the first full album that we've got in a minute. So we will go on to our half pennies. So we've got our three albums. First one is 1860 to 1901. So we've got a couple, not in great condition. 19, uh, sorry, 1868 and 1870. And we've got an 1882 with a H mint mark. And then 1897. So still missing quite a few of them. <laughs> quite a few. And then we go on to 1902 to 1936. So we are missing 1903, 1904, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we've got a few more for filling this page. So we are missing 1913, 19, 22, 24, and 26. And then on the final page, we are just missing 31, 32, 34, 35, and 36. So, it'd be nice to sort of get one of those pages filled up. And then in the final book, so there's 1937 onwards, we have absolutely everything. So obviously these books were designed to sort of carry on past 1967. Um, obviously when they were first issues, they probably didn't know what was going to happen with regards to de decimalization. <laughs> didn't know what was going to happen with decimalization. But we have essentially filled the album. So really, really over the moon with that one. Really glad to sort of have actually sort of filled an album. And then we move on to our pennies. So we've got three albums. So we've got 1881 to 1901. And we've got a very, very corroded sort of 1881. And we've then got an 1889. 
90, 91 and 93. So we're only actually missing three off that page. But we do have the full set of 1895 to 1901 Victoria. So really, really chuffed we've got that page filled. I'll see the Victoria coins are one of my favorites. We've then got 1902 to 1929. And we are still missing 1904 and 05. Can't seem to find them anywhere. <laughs> We've got a full page there from 1911 to 1918. And then we are missing the mint marked 1918s and 19s. And then it is just 1926 to finish that page. And the final book is 1930 to 1966. So for some reason these ones just, they didn't go up to 1967, which is a bit disappointing. But we've got a full page there from 1930 to 1936. We have near enough a full page there. The only thing we're missing is the 49 to 51 obverse. And obviously we are missing the coins from 49 to 51 but you'll see there sort of the mintages are really low so 1950 was 240,000 1951 was 120,000 and if we go for a bit further obviously 1953 there's only 1.3 million but 1949 we should have um I'm quite surprised we've not found that one yet so there's sort of over 14 million and yeah so we'll see with 53 i'm missing sort of the coin itself and then the obverse as well so hopefully at some point we'll be able to sort of fill those in obviously i'm thinking that the 50 and 52 will probably i'll probably end up having to buy off the second hand market just because of how rare they are especially the fact that i sort of want to complete the album and then the next album we've got is our brass three pences so this is from 1937 onwards so doing really really well with these we are only missing 1938 and 1949 obviously 49 is going to be really low mintage that's 464,000. we are then missing the obverse for 1953 and we are missing 1957 and I think that is it actually I think that's all we're missing yep so we've got four that we're missing so hopefully soon enough we'll be able to sort of fill them in as I say I think the only one that we'll have difficulty with will be 1949 and then we move on to our sixpence albums so we've got 1902 to 1936 and this one is very very sparse but we have a 1929 and a 1930 uh, the reason these are so sparse is because everything that sort of would go in this album is actually silver um, so obviously it is just harder to find the old silver coins especially with sort of where I get my my coins from. But then we move on to 1937 to 1967. So we have 47, 48, 50 and 51. And then we are missing the obverse and the verse for 1953, uh, 56, 58 and 61. And the only other one that we're missing is 1964, which with a mint is that high, you'd expect to be finding them pretty much every hunt. But we don't seem to find sort of as many sixpences as we do sort of other coins. I know I say that now, because every time I say that we don't find it, we then find half a dozen in the hunt. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I've probably sort of jinxed myself on that one. 
And then we go on to our shillings books. So I picked these up uh, because the last shilling albums that I had, I actually was already complete when I got it. So I bought sort of the two extra albums to sort of cover me from 1937 right away up to 67. And yeah, what I've done is, is all the ones that we've been finding on the hunts, um, I have added in to the albums. So we are literally missing the 1953 obverse from that page. And then we are missing the English 57, English 58, 59, and then we're missing the Scottish 59, 60, 61, 63. And then the English 64 and the Scottish 66. So I, if I remember rightly, there wasn't any shillings produced in 1967. So that's why there's not a slot for them. But obviously if I found, I did find any, because I think they were released in the album sets, I would definitely sort of put them in the album. And obviously I've jumped ahead a bit there. I've gone to the sort of the later album first, but we've got our other one here, which is 37 to 51. So we have the obverse, but obviously none of the actual years on that page. Or that page but we do have them on the final page so I think that obverse is probably from sort of one of these years so the only ones we're missing on the final page is the Scottish 50 and the English 51 yeah it'd be nice to sort of get a few more for, for those pages And then we've got our Florin album. So this is 1941 to 1967. So we've obviously got a couple of holes here. So we're missing sort of 1941, 42, 43, 44, 45, and 46. I keep forgetting that, that one. So, on the second page, we are missing 55, 57, and 58. And the last page is we are missing 63, 64, and 66. So, hopefully, we will be able to sort of fill those up soon enough. Once again, sort of uh, with the, the florins or the two shillings, whatever you want to call them, uh, don't tend to find sort of that many. So, it's... Uh, is a bit hard to sort of fill the album and then the last one which I definitely don't find too many of is obviously the half crowns so this is 1941 to 1967 so we have 1948 50 and 51 we are literally just missing the obverse from 1953 for that page and then on the final page, the only ones that we're missing is 1961 and 66. So what I might do actually is once when I get the chance, and when I've got the money to, might pop. There's a couple of, uh, there's a, a local market to where I live, and I think sort of on there during the week, they have a couple of stalls that sort of sell coins. I might pop down there, see if I can pick up a couple of uh, half crowns maybe sort of using the sort of filled a couple of slots in the album just as the just because the half crowns are so hard to find for the the hunts but equally i do have a load more coins to sort of top the tub up with uh, once we get a bit further down and there might be some crowns in there i'm not too sure i haven't checked through it yet so the last little bit to go through is the half pennies or new half pennies so, with these ones, the only ones that I'm missing are 72, 81, 83, and 84, um, and uh, 80, 
84 and 80 uh, and 72 are NIFCs. Um, actually, I think. Let me just check my tracking app for a second. Because. Yeah, no, that's right. So, yeah, there are four that are missing. Um, obviously, two of which are NIFCs. So, not too uh, confident as to sort of being able to find them. But hopefully, sort of the 80 and the 83 are ones that will be able to find. So, with that, let's crack on and we'll see what we can find today. So, the first one out is a half penny from 1934. So, that would be George V. And the next one we get is a 1942 farthing. So that is George VI. So I'm just going to reposition my light because it's not, uh, I don't think it's where it should be. And the next coin we get is a 1948 English one shilling. Very, very toned. And that is a George the Sixth. I think that actually might be one that we're missing. have a new half penny a very beaten up one from 1974 so not a year that we're looking for but I would say a nice find but it is quite bad And we've got our first three pence for the hunt. So it's Elizabeth for second. And that is 1957. And I know we've only just gone through them, but I really can't remember what years we're missing. <laughs> and there we go, we've got another, looks like one shilling. Going to be George the Sixth again, and that is 1950. I believe that's the Eng uh, yeah, that's the English one again. Very nice. And there we go. We got a sixpence. That is 1967. Elizabeth II. Not one of the ones that we're looking for. And then we've got a Victoria. So this one's in actually really good condition for its age. And that is 1875. So one penny. Obviously, it's a bit worn down around the edge. But the obverse is pretty legible. And then we've got. And Elizabeth II, half penny from 1953. So that is going to be one of the ones out of our completed albums. It's not going to be a new one for the book. And we have not a. 
pre-decimal coin. So it is Trinidad and Tobago, one cent from 1972. Yeah, a really nice coin, but not a pre-decimal. Don't know how that one managed to sneak in there. And we have a 1964 one penny. Once again, Elizabeth II. And yet another new half penny. This time from 1976. In really nice condition though. And another new half penny. Definitely trying to get out today, isn't they? So this one is 1979. So not a year that we see too often. But not a new one for the book, unfortunately. And we have a very, very grubby three pence. And that is from 1961. So Elizabeth II again. Another Elizabeth II, but this time it is a half penny from 1962. And we've got another half penny, this time from 1966. Another Elizabeth II half penny from 1964. So what we'll do is, is obviously the video starting to sort of run a bit long, so we'll do a couple more just to fill this row off, and then we'll call it a day on today's hunt. And we have a George the Sixth. Half penny from 1947. I hope that's one that we've already got because it is not in the best of conditions. And then the last coin will be a Elizabeth II. Two shillings from Scotland, and that is a 1955. Very nice, nice one to sort of finish us on. So, for me, Starpool, probably have to go for the old Victoria. Just because. The obverse is in such great condition. Really, really happy with that one. So that's going to be the end of today's hunt. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be kept up to date when I upload new videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links will be in the description below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching the video today. Really hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed the sort of the album run through. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.
All right, bye.